hello everybody welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new um so today i had another digital drawing i think the first one i did was the area one but today we're gonna be doing ray from sailor moon i need to say it now i've been on this like kick again because sailor moon was like one of my favorites one of my favorites and now i've gotten back into it and i can't stop watching so i need to do something about it and i did this drawing a while ago um and I completely didn't know that Procreate had the feature where while you're going, they make a little time-lapse video of the process. So, here we are. And this will be my first Procreate drawing because um, I wanted to play around and practice a little bit with the program. I was using Krita before and the Huion H950, I believe tablet and so that's just a pen tablet I was going ahead doing my thing but I felt like the software kept crashing and then it was just difficult to figure out because going from traditional to digital traditional to digital bear with me <laughs> um it's difficult you have to learn the whole program on top of trying to implement your own principles and your own styling and teachings so I finally invested in an iPad and got procreate which i find um a lot smoother it's a lot more fun keeps me motivated to keep drawing because i feel like a lot of the times when i have to stop re-download everything that being said credit is a free program so the team that makes it doesn't really get any profit off of it besides um donations that you can contribute to them so for it being a free program and just out here with all the tools and everything, I think that is amazing. And um, you can get a lot out of it if you know how to use it. And that's not to say that you have to pay for a drawing software in any way just for it to be good. Um, I feel like Krita just had too many tools and too many... I don't even know. It was too complicated for me to understand. But I feel like there are a lot of artists who... If you already have a background in digital, it may be easier. Just as a beginner and for myself, it wasn't working. And if it's not working, then honey, it's not working. I was trying for a while because I think I had it for almost a year before I switched over to the iPad. Um, but if you want to see some amazing stuff, because I believe Sarah Teeps, she does on Krita. She either does on Krita or software like it, but I know a few of her earlier videos we're definitely on there um and yeah can try it out definitely go see um i think the biggest part of art in any form any medium whatever you want to call it is just to find what works for you and just to go from there i don't know why i did that nose so dark it's gonna come back to haunt me later on and honey girl if i did it that dark okay so this is one of the techniques that i learned from sarah Teep's video is doing the shadows and whatnot monochrome and then going back over with i think it's an over light layer or a um soft light layer and putting in the skin colors what i failed to do is shade in literally anything else so that the nose gets blended some wow wow okay all right so i also wanted to briefly touch on just the importance of having artist friends oh my gosh i cannot explain to you what it's like being a creative person and having um someone that you could bounce ideas off of someone that you can go back and forth motivating each other and it doesn't even and it doesn't even have to be another um, artist, though that does help. It could be like a musician or just someone in the creative world, a writer. The energy that it gives off just about like idea between someone who puts their heart and their soul into creating something visual or audio just to share with the world is so different. And that being said, it is really good when people do appreciate it. But it's just a different level of understanding that you have between each other when it's someone who's also going through things and creating. And that's kind of how I got jump started into digital is that um, I became friends with someone at work who is such an amazing digital artist. Like his pieces blow my mind. 
and he keeps evolving and so it motivates me not only with my digital art to learn more about it but also my paintings my sculpture to go back and relearn fundamentals to practice more to just get better and improve myself and kind of that drive to be more um and yeah so that's gonna be the end of it i try to do some hearts since it is ray and love that didn't work out so we just kept it simple yeah but i will see you guys in the next video um hopefully I will find the charger connector to my Apple Pencil and I can charge it and actually use Procreate again and make something else. But in the meantime, be prepared for um, a sculpture video that I'm working on if I ever finish the sculpture. Okay, thank you. Bye.